Question two now, we've got positive numbers and negative numbers being added. 10 plus negative 9 plus negative 8 plus 7. So, I mean, if you think about it this way, this is kind of like having $10 in cash, positive, a $9 bill, right, negative, and then an $8, a bill, an $8 bill, and then $7 in cash, okay? So, if you think about, like, money, you know, the positives are, are, are you know, this could be a $10 cash, this could be, you know, $7 cash, a five and two ones. Um, this could be a bill for a drink, and that's a bill for um, a hot dog or, or pizza or whatever, right? So anyway, when we put that money together, what do we have overall? And there's different ways of doing it. You can add, um, you, you, there's a couple of ways of doing it. Well, well, I'll show you well, one way. You could add these guys, the positive 10 and the negative 9, okay? And what would that give you? Okay, ten dollars cash in a bill of nine. That'd be uh, one dollar cash, right? Plus one, and then you could add these guys together. What would they give you? They'd give you um, uh, a bill of eight and seven dollars cash. That still leaves you with a bill of one, right? Or one dollar in debt. And then you put these two together: one dollar uh, cash and then one dollar in debt. What does that make? That makes zero, right? Okay, so a couple ways of doing it. I mean, you, you might have also done it this way. You might have um, said, okay, negative 9 and negative 8. Let's put the negatives together, right? That's a total bill of what? A total bill of negative 17, right? And then if you put the positives together, the 10 and the 7, what do you get? $10 and $7, positive 17, right? So a bill of $17 added to $17 cash gives you what? $0. So it doesn't matter which way you add it, you're still going to get the same answer, which is just 0, right?